everyone this is Kesh and I'm coming to you today with a collaboration video this video will be a pinup girl look and this is my look it's a 50s look but with a modern twist and this is a collaboration with another Jamaican youtuber I link her video down below and she's an awesome makeup artist and she works really well with colors go ahead and subscribe to her channel guys just check her out and make sure you subscribe to my my channel thumbs up this video comment share like and all of those things thank you so much for watching starting on this tutorial I'm just adding some NYX jumbo pencil in milk to my eyelids and that will help the colors to stand out a bit more because the colors that I'm going to use they're not usually bright on the darker skin tones so I need the milk the NYX base to make it a bit brighter so I'm taking my MAC studio fix powder in NW45 and I'm using that as my transition color so I'm just brushing that all over my lids not my lids but above my crease next I'm going into my blush to neutrals palette by BH cosmetics that color is washed out but it's actually a uh, brown some mid-tone brown and I am brushing that in my crease before I add another color so that's my crease color and that's a brown from MAC it's no longer um, available so you can use brown script or any other brown eyeshadow that you may have and I'm going to use that in my crease and I'm using a pencil brush to apply it and I'm also going to drag it in the outer V of my eyes just to create some definition so that when I add the lid color it won't look so pale and bland so now I'm just doing what you need to do whenever you put on your eyeshadow which is blend 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 I'm taking that highlight color from the blush to neutrals palette and that will be my lid color I'm using a flat brush because I find that the flat brush applies that shadow better than the um, the fluffy eyeshadow brush that I normally use so I'm packing that on packing 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 it on my lid to get the best color payoff possible all right so I am going back in with that dark brown color in the crease of my eye just to give some give it some more definition and once again blend Blend, blend. Right there, I'm just putting back a little bit more of the transition color just to balance out all the colors that I have, um, all the eyeshadows that I placed on my eyes. I didn't like how flat the ivory eyeshadow looked, so I added a bit of pink. Well, it's a corally pink from the top of that palette, and that color. I'm just putting in the center of my lid just to give it some depth and some color so that it suits me better next I'm taking the same color that I placed on my lid at first which is a, a highlight color and I'm just going to use it as my brow bone highlight and it is a matte brow bone highlight when you're doing a pinup girl look you want everything to be as matte as possible you don't want any shimmer the foundation that I'm using today is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation and I think the color is 355 coconut it is a little bit orangey but right now my skin is a bit darker so it is blending just fine with my skin so I'm just using my elf powder brush as usual to blend 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 my foundation so that it looks nice on my skin don't forget to brush some on your neck so it doesn't look as if you're wearing a mask so that's what the foundation looks like and the lighting is making it look a bit shiny but let me tell you this foundation is matte and nice um, now I'm using the Jordana 2-in-1 foundation plus concealer and the color is caramel it's close to my skin tone so it's going to give me a subtle highlight 
I'm not one to go for a very bright highlight unless it is stage makeup or so on but um, this one gives me a really nice highlight and what I love about this um, foundation concealer it blends easily and it blends really well so I'm just um, highlighting my nose and you know I like when my nose highlight is bright but today I didn't use a light a very light concealer it's the same one that I used under my eyes to just highlight my nose and I'm also going to do a bit of reverse contouring which is where you put the highlight underneath where you normally put your contours and I'm just going to use my brush to blend that out so that it doesn't look um, so it blends well with the rest of my face next I'm taking LA girl pro concealer in cocoa and that is going to be my contour color and though it's not showing up on camera it's a dark color and the contour looks really nice when I whenever I use um, this whenever I use this concealer to contour I'm going to also use it to contour my nose and I blend well to ensure that everything looks seamless so right there I'm just using that BH cosmetics brush to just blend um, the contours of my nose next I'm taking um, NW43 by uh, MAC which is a studio fix powder and that is usually my regular powder that I put um, over my makeup or use for just it's my skin tone but my skin is a bit darker at the moment so that's why I'm using it to just set my highlight and for the rest of my face I'm going to be using the NW45 which is sometimes a bit darker than my skin tone but it blends really well today because my skin as I said before my skin is darker using my city color um, contour kit I'm just using the contour powder to go over to set the powder the sorry to set the concealer that I use to contour and the blush that I'm using today is a really nice neutral color and I've been reaching for it every day and it's from the blushed neutrals palette and that is a shadow from the blushed neutral palette that I'm using as my nose highlight and when you're doing a pinup girl look it's usually very matte but as I said before I'm adding a modern twist and that is why I did the nose highlight another important part of it is the winged liner many persons go for the more dramatic one so I'm going for it's not too um, slim but it's not too fat and I'm using that elf eyeliner pen to just give me a nice winged liner I find the pen easy to use easier than using um, the brushes actually so I've been reaching for it lately and it dries down though it looks a bit shiny when you just apply it it um, dries down very matte and nice so yes I've been loving this elf waterproof eyeliner pen and for some reason I can never get these winged liners symmetrical how I want them but I do try to get them as best as possible and I'm using the brown that I used earlier to do my crease to just smudge underneath my eyes now I'm lining my lips with my favorite plum lip liner I don't know I have several plum lip liners I find that they really go with most of the lipsticks that I own so yes and this is my all-time favorite lipstick it's Mac Ruby Woo and it's, it's showing up a bit dark on camera now but I'm going to insert a photo and at the beginning or at the end so you can see what this lipstick looks like on me in natural light I really really love it the mascara that I'm using is from Maybelline it's a volume mascara the thing that I love about this mascara is the brush it gets all the lashes the upper ones and also the lower ones so that is the final look thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out Makeupolics video and also subscribe and comment share with your friends